Welcome to Trash Talk with your favorite garbage artist Thomas Dampel. Over the last 11 years I've built 138 giant recycled sculptures and hidden them in a treasure hunt all around the world to show us all that trash is a treasure so we can avoid drowning in our own trash and leaving a beautiful clean planet for our future. This week is week number four out of four. I am in Detroit Lakes in Minnesota and in North Dakota where I'm building five trolls, a plastic rabbit, three magical mirrors and 800 birdhouses. And this week is the last week, so it's busy, 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 because we have to finish the Troll Alexa Selexia, we have to finish the giant plastic rabbit in a secret location. I'm setting the record of building the biggest exhibition I've ever built in one location. We've had more than 300 volunteers. Thank you to all of you and my big team of 15 people who've come in from all over the United States and all over the world to help me realize this big GM of a project. So, now of course this isn't the exact machine that we use, but I thought it was a good place to explain about the wood that we're using here in Detroit Lakes. It's all the highway, highway number 34, that was expanded, and in the expansion, a lot of trees had to be cut down, and those three we salvaged, and those are the trees we've milled and are using in the project. So, I'm a little bit twisted about it, because it's not like really recycled wood, but also it's salvaged wood, so I guess it's lace somewhere in between maybe you can tell me in the comments what you think about it i'm a little bit split myself but it's all cut like this it's all white oak um, and it's all really nice good quality wood so that's a good thing i was thinking that it could be like around here I don't need the post to stick out of the ground more than 50. Straight up and down now? So kind of like this lay is straight and then the other one tilts a little bit. This one is called Alexis Alexia. It is the troll that comes into the city to save the people. It has a big magic uh, cauldron where it's brewing the Alexia and then it has a magic mirror where it pushes the heart into the mirror and then there's going to be three big uh, replicas of that same mirror because it's a magic portal and then through those mirrors comes the other end of the arm out and puts up birdhouses because we are making like more than 500 birdhouses that will be hung up here in the city. It's always, always fun figuring out how high and how to lift it best way with everyone around here safely. Right now we're setting the head to Alexi's um, and in order to do that we mount the head to a stick, we call it the lollipop, and we've got to lift it up and into the framing. Uh, but we can't just throw it in and expect it to be good because there's, there's so many angles as far as which direction is she looking, is the head tipping up or is it tipping down. Um, so. Before we actually put the lollipop in the frame, we're trying to figure out the, the directional uh, area of where the face is trying to look. Once we figure that out, then we're going to lift it up and set it actually inside the frame. Four and a half meters, that's what we have right now, where the shoulders are going to be. She's leaning this way and then the body. And then the legs. Right now the challenge is to put it in, uh, in the height that we need and put the brace in so we can put the head today, that's the mission today. And then the, but also the poles are were put that they are a little bit longer. So I have to fit these two poles inside the, the head. Community. It's, it's bringing, you know, we're super proud of all of our trails and all the stuff we have going on in Detroit Lakes. And it's bringing community together, it's bringing people together. You can't walk up to one of these trolls and not smile. It just, it's great art and it's, art is a community. It just brings everyone together. I think we processed about 1,700 of them. Okay, of different sizes. 
So, and then we ended up, you know, processing all the end panels because we had to cut. So I thought, might as well just. Yeah. Yeah, but they can definitely help because these could be like shingled or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I got here and um, last year, so the, and this is like the the, the recycle facility of Detroit Lakes. That's correct. Yes. And I saw that there was a lot of these boxes here, and then I saw that it said BTD Bismarck Tool and Die. They're a local manufacturer of tooling parts. Yeah. So then we contacted them, and then they collected, I think, 2,000 boxes, because in their production line they break, and then they get discarded. So now we have all of these ones and some inmates from the prison, right? Yes, that's correct. Yep. They, we have a, a, a program called Sentence to Serve, and it's where the, the inmates get a chance to get out and work during the day. We're cutting the, the, the totes and, and then cleaning them and processing them so Thomas can begin to build them. They could be repurposed for something other than just disposal, so it was pretty, it was pretty, it was pretty neat experience. Honestly, I just, uh, I like to take the opportunity to do something forward so that in, in, it'll be here for generations. And so that's why I want to have a hand in it so that I can be present in that. So I think it's a, it's a really good, it's a good thing that they're doing this and, and for, the, for the county here, so. So this is really exciting because this is a pure plastic recycle troll with local scrap. Thomas Damlo project that came to town, it launched the opportunity to uh, start recycling. And going forward, we still have that opportunity with the evolution of recycling um, products through uh, various companies locally here in Minnesota. So this is the, the, the magic soup, soups that set the, the humans free from their curse from the yellow plastic wrapper. <laughs> Purple birdhouses and, uh, and sticks, a little bit of yellow plastic wrapper and some stones and stuff and then it's going to be like a little bit painted a little bit purple and stuff like that so it's a little bit of like the different uh, pieces of the exhibition basically. <laughs> And the arm, you want to clap the arm down here? That's the idea. So we were planning to, we put a swivel to can show you. Like a Maybe it can be like a little bit, like so the one is a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was going to say. Like if you were like, if you're like in the opera. The opera? I think you're just doing it like this, right? You know, it's it's such an exciting time, and it was very exciting when the whole idea came to uh, the the community and, and uh, to the, meet Thomas uh, was just a great moment. And for what the trolls are, for what they are, the story and what all the trolls mean, and getting people together and to celebrate nature and to get them out so outside, uh, it's just it's very exciting. And then to see him being built, but the fun thing is, is even though being part of kind of the project a little bit, kind of with the trail finding and stuff is to know where they are and we still don't know where they are and that's the exciting part is is the whole magic of where these trolls will pop up and and the stories that each one has and which which uh each one reflects and which one you know their names and the story behind them is just amazing the color idea you're talking about just maybe extend it down quite a bit and then mix it out, fade it out in place. Wait, it goes down in a point. Yeah, maybe. Or, I mean, if these were all three, and then two, and then one at the end. But we can kind of work our way up 
I think we should try and make it flat around here so we can have a, a fluffy here and the flat here. So, so, it, so it pokes like out. A tank top thing, and then we then with we the flat start. pieces. Yeah. yeah, just the tank top, leaving that blank for now, and then we. Yeah. Okay. It's just nice to have the different ones. Set. I took maybe one quarter and put it in the car. That's what it felt like. But now that I see it in boxes, it's a bit less. Oh, yeah. there's enough in general, but maybe not enough of these nice flat ones. Like a zombie rabbit would have like a little bit ugly fur, you know, and some long here and a little bit dirty over here. And so, so these are all the bottoms of these boxes, and I don't think there's enough of them. So we're gonna mix it up and put the sides here. You see how this was the side of the box and the end of the box, right? Like that. So we're just gonna mix it all up so we're sure we have enough. Because we don't have time in the deadline to go back if we all of a sudden end up with one leg made of buttons and then the other leg has to be made of this. That would just throw the symmetry off a little bit. So we wanna try and get a little bit evenly all over the sculpture. Okay, we pulled it off, everything's ready. Badwa and William and Matt Hanks, they finished their Barefoot Frida and now we're going over here for the pupil party and meeting with everybody. We're gonna do some type of improvised speaks and then it's done. Alexis Alexier. It is uh, named after my uh, beautiful uh, wife Alexa, who uh, sometimes brews a special elixir with some secret ingredients that I will not undisclose right now. <laughs> um, it's in the book. Uh, this has been like a super, super big, exciting, hard, uh, crazy project. It's the, it's the biggest and the most uh, expanding, the furthest that we have uh, ever done and it also in the shortest time and it has been um, it has really really been uh, uh, I'm really really grateful for all you people who have helped me do it and all the big uh, emptiness of all the people who's not here because it took more than 500 people to show up every day and create this project 500 people who came together and helped make food paint birdhouses, haul things uh, through the forest to a secret location, um, come and cheer on the project, donate money for the project, take their time and their money and their effort and their hard labor to take all of these uh, leftover resources and then make them into this thing that is now this exhibition that we call Alexis Alexia. So thank you all from my heart to all of you for helping me do this because this is a touching moment for me. This is really special. It's so cool. It was so fun just helping out and just doing whatever I can to help out wherever they need. It was so much fun. So the community has been amazing. Everyone has been so supportive about this project. On top of that, I have so many people that have been reaching out and calling us. They're talking about how they've spent like 15 to 20 miles already hiking for the trolls. They talked about how they met all these people they haven't met before and it's just really cool to see everyone come together like that. I love nature, I love art, and I'm so excited to see how all of this will come together. I like the birdhouse aspect. Where do you go or what's gonna happen? Do you know about it? Or? I just heard that we're going to see all of the trolls. What's going? Good morning, how you yeah. doing? And this is the bus we're driving people in? Yes sir, yeah. So it's like 
blast out in here. Well, and then we'll bring them to the uh, to the rangers, and then we'll put them in the rangers, blindfold them for a little bit, and then get them in the woods, and then they'll have no idea where they're at. So we're here now. Yep. Then we're driving. I don't I don't care which way you get there, but it's something like this, right? right yep. And then we are blind in this car and on the red line, and then we're going to the ATVs, and then we basically have three different things we're doing in the ATVs. Yeah. I think they'll be confused. I'm sure they will. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, welcome everybody. My name is uh, Thomas Steinbo. I'm an artist. I come from uh, Copenhagen in Denmark because I'm going to take you on a little trip around the area here and show you not just the easy to find ones, but also the most secret one of them all because my exhibition here, it's about a, a fairy tale. And in this fairy tale, there is um, a, a little bad bunny, a bad rap, a rabbit in the story. And this one is hiding somewhere um, far away that's really, really hard to find. And you can only find it if you can solve a riddle. Uh, so because of that, all of you uh, have to sign uh, the non-disclosure contract. And you all have to go into this beautiful bus here, um, where all the windows are blacked out, so you can't see where we're going. Um, then we will go a little bit, and then Ben here from the Sea Boys and the Sea Boys TV YouTube channel, uh, him and his companions, they will take you a little bit off-roading up in the mountains and the hills in the area and deep into the forest and then there at some point you will come and see the rabbit and also one of the other sculptures of the exhibition hi Micah nice to meet you hey, we're going off-road now so you guys, uh, we'll load you guys up in in uh, one of these three, and then we got one more coming here, so we should be able to fit the entire crew in, and then we're going into the woods. Yep. And um, one thing that's really important for this it is that uh, we, we want to make sure everybody signed to both the non-disclosure and the liability waiver, <laughs> and then you have to sign, hand over your phones, because you have, we know you are hiding a GPS signal inside the phone. Because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. A little nervous. <laughs> Big black boots, long brown hair. She's so sweet with her. Yeah, black stare. Well, I can say you have. He's the head builder or the whole builder? The whole builder. Wow. The head and the whole. It's crazy. Like, like all my my sculptures, I try to give them like uh, Nordic names and names after people who have helped me or people who I know or know of uh, from back home. So there's a guy I know back home who's called Life. Just a normal Danish uh, male name. They were just confused. They were like, where are we going? I was like, I don't know. I don't know where we're going. Yeah, now we're going to the rapid. So we're gonna go in the ATV, and then we're going a little bit in a in a loop, and then we'll go to the rabbit. I love it. I love all the trolls. It's just been magical and yes, it's really great. <laughs> Wonderful. The whole outside of the sculpture is made of almost 2,000 of these uh, worn out yellow crates from the Bismarck Tool and Die Company. And um, the, the company says that because I have now shined a light on, what do you call it, like instated a way of recycling them instead of driving them to the dump. So they're doing this nationwide now in all the different factories. And, and for me, that's the 
that's what makes me feel like a proud daddy that really, that the art can have this impact. They have no idea. Absolutely no idea. They won't be able to tell anyone where it is. If you want to find it, you got to come find it on your own. Right. I, I love the motorcycle helmets. That's my favorite part. Did great. Really proud of our accomplishment here. The sculpture looks great and our mission is uh, going really good so far. Don't think anybody knows where we are and I think it makes for a fun story. I have no idea. I know we're near Detroit Lakes, but they did a good job of making sure we didn't, didn't know where it was. But I keep thinking people are going to get a lot of exercise trying to find these sculptures. So I think it'll be great though. They're, they're hidden in the woods. That, that's what makes it fun. That, you know, public art shouldn't be just in a city, it should be everywhere. Make it! Please help me welcome Thomas Donald. And to me, the recycle station was like one big toy store filled with everything my young heart could dream about. <laughs> Okay, like my first big um, art um, installation that I did where I got recognition and where I got like to do interviews and it really taught me that if I do something that has a positive impact and that involves people then I can get the freedom to, to do a lot of things. Recycling, it makes sense. Just reuse it and then you know what you take from the earth you give back to the earth. It's just <laughs> it's only here for so long. We're only here for so long. Just make the best for the future. They are amazing. I can see why people go around the world to see them. He's changing the world and we all need to do, do the same thing. We all need to get busy trying to do the same thing. Don't throw away good stuff and make it into better stuff. <laughs> we can make uh, treasure out of trash and to remind people that there's so much beauty in the so-called trash that we have in this world. Americans are very uh, wasteful and uh, I think this definitely brings awareness uh, to use stuff that we just normally throw away for multi-purposes and uh, I think this is a great way to bring awareness to the U.S. and the rest of the world too as well. Fun way to do it. Yeah, absolutely fun way. Because this project was so, so big, I wanted to bring the whole team around to every side so everyone could see everything that we had made. So we drove around from side to side in a party bus together with all our new friends and partners. We started with Jakob Everier, then visited Barefoot Frida. <laughs> Next we went to Danton Lux to see Ronnie Funny Face. I think it's really, really funny that uh, we just built Ronnie Funny Face and then the same week is the week that uh, Koa and Pepe, they learned to scare their mom and do Wah! We also stopped to see a portal on the way. Then we went to Alexis Alexia. And then it was time for a break. Our new friends from Project 412 took us for a nice afternoon pontoon ride at the lake. We swam, got pizza, beers and had a great time. At the other side of the lake the bus picked us up again and we headed up the mountain to see long life. And as a last thing I surprised the crew by bringing everybody up to see the golden rabbit. But I won't show you where it is just yet because if you want to see it yourself you also have to go and find it. And then as a last thing, before this video is over, I want to take the time to say thank you to all the partners from Project 412 for inviting us, to my amazing crew for busting and working through all the hard work and rain and sun, and to all of you more than 500 volunteers who helped me realize this project, build it and make it all come to life. Thank you. See you next time.